Hi guys, Danielle back, Danielle's Homemade Products. I'm here, it's guys, counseling appointment. Figured I'd kill two birds with one stone. These are some old dryer balls that I've made in the past, and I'm making some new ones as I'm sitting here waiting for her counseling appointment to be over. Um, so I thought I would show you how I make them. So these are the old ones. That's, I've got two of them already made. Um, Basically, I've got some yarn here, and this is the yarn I bought because, frankly, I couldn't find anything that was 100% wool when I was at the store today, so that's what I bought. Honestly, don't think the yarn that I used for these blue balls was 100% wool, but, you know, well, we'll get it done, hopefully. So, and I've got ones that are made of plastic, so... As far as I'm concerned, as long as it's bouncing around the dryer, it should help. But I just started making a ball out of my yarn. And if you're OCD like me, what I did is I took a skein of yarn and I cut it into four equal sections, or as equal as I could get them after the hour that I spent tangling up the first one. And I'm just going to continue to roll the section that I've cut into a ball. I do have... I said I've got two other ones made. I split up the skein. Um, I bought three skeins. I am intending on using these for Christmas presents. Um, and I was able to split each of these big fluffy skeins into four balls. And I'll show you. Like I said, I'm just wrapping it around on itself to create a ball. I've got two done already. I am working on the third one here. And honestly, this is where I think those, you know, solo socks will come in handy. Because that's honestly what I used when I made the blue ones that I showed you. And I'll be honest and say that I didn't take them out of the single solo socks until today when I started making these ones. But that's okay. So I'm just going to continue to wrap these this around and turning it different directions as I'm wrapping it because you want to even if it's on the perfect ball no one's going to care it's going in the dryer right and I'm not sure if these ones will work properly because they're not 100% real wool you know 100% wool but like I said I've got plastic ones that I bought from the store so once I get to the end I just kind of tuck it in and try to keep my finger and I tend to tuck it in wrap it in and then tuck it in another spot so that all of the excess is in and once I've got all my balls made see these were Sky's old socks that were could never find the second match to or more missing so I stuff it in stuff the ball in and some of the ball came apart so So keep that in mind when you're stuffing your sock in. You're stuffing the ball in your sock. Okay. Again, I think solo socks, this is an excellent use for them. Solo socks or socks that have a hole in it. And then I take the sock and give it a spin, kind of like you do with a bread bag. And then I turn it back onto itself. When I've got the rest of them done, I'm back at the house and I'm moving on to the next step. I will show you what I'm going to do next. See you then. Hi guys, Danielle back. Danielle's homemade products. Apparently Sky got shaving cream in my washing machine. But anyway, I am back. I've got all the balls made. I apologize if my camera work is a little bit shaky. My hands are killing me. Um, these are two of the other... Ooh, those are that dirty. It needs to be washed. Um, these are the two other dryer balls that I have. These ones have been splitting on me. These blue ones. So I'm wanting to make more. I had four of them. Now I only have two left and an old tennis ball. And then I have two of these guys. So I figure even if this fabric... Or fabric. I'm tired. Even if this yarn isn't the correct 100% wool yarn... Um, it really shouldn't make that much of a difference. So the next step is going to be 
to wash them. Uh, you do, and I'm going to go ahead and wash the ones that I made previously, since this is the first time they've come out of the socks, um, since I made them, which it's been well over a year. But again, that's where single socks come in handy. And yeah, I'm just going to wash this on the hottest setting, hottest water, which for these particular clothes, I, I usually wash them on warm anyway, so hot's not really going to make that much of a difference. Um, if I had them all in a white, sorry, sorry about that. Guess I should pay attention to where I'm, you know, camera's pointing. But um, if I had them all in white socks, because they were all pretty much white wool, if I had them all in white socks, I would have just washed a load of white clothes. But since I don't, this is safer. So I'm going to change it to hot. I don't need that big of a load because it's not that full. That'll be good though to give it extra hot water. And I'm gonna run it on, gotta pay attention to what I'm doing, damn it. Gonna run it on extra long or extra heavy, whatever the heck that's called. Oh boy, top of that washer is dusty. Okay, ADHD and OCD kick it in at the same time. Anyway, I'm gonna let this run through the regular wash cycle, then I'm going to stick them in the dryer. If I need to, I can stick them back into the wash again. Or frankly, like I said, I left those sock, those inside the socks for the last year and a half, and you saw how the blue balls turned out. That sounds really bad too. Ooh, mine's in the gutter, mine's in the gutter. Anyway, if there are socks that you don't really care about or they're mismatched socks, like I said, this is the time where, okay, I couldn't take it anymore. Um, where, you know, those single lonely souls can be put to good use. Um, or if you've got socks that you bought for your kids or yourself that you don't like. Like some of the ones that I've used. Ooh, that's steaming. Some of the ones I used in there for the... Some of them are, are single socks of Skies that have been missing a mate. Some of them are socks that are just a little too snug on me and making me feel like my feet are getting... Heimlich maneuvered constantly, or ones that even have a hole here or there or aren't in the best shape. It won't, it won't make a difference. So I'm going to let that go through the run, and I'll bring it back when it's time to throw them in the dryer. It's done. Time to throw them in the dryer. And I'll just throw them in along with what's already the dryer balls that are already in there, and I'll run them through to dry the clothes. And it's as simple as that. And the three skeins of yarn that I bought, I got 12 dryer balls, which really isn't bad. I think I only got one skein before and I only got the three balls out of it, of the blue. So this is a little bit more difficult to do with one hand. Oh, that one came unrolled, but that's okay curious as to what this looks like, so hold on and I'll set it up so y'all can see too. This took, sorry I got you kind of at a weird, weird angle, but I just took the dryer ball out of the sock. It's not completely felted together, but that's okay. I'm just going to leave them in the sock for at least the next couple of loads, and we'll see how they do. But either way, bouncing it around the dryer should still help to dry clothes faster, so there you have it. I'll bring you back once they're dry. Let's see if they look any better. I say the dryer balls are kind of noisy though, but they're worth it. So I'll bring you back when they're dry. Dryer is done. One full cycle and everything is nice and dry. So I'll just leave these dryer balls in the socks for a while and see how they do. These are the old ones. Now, mind you, these are probably about 18 months to two years old. So. There you have it. See you soon.